Let's talk about Dewan Jones, yeah. Jed Wills, Jack Conklin, and the Browns tackle situation. They As picked you up alluded Wills. to, this guy's a giant. Yeah, I think he'll be the biggest player in the NFL, if I'm not mistaken. Will there be anyone bigger than, than Dewan Jones, guys? I was trying to get the measurables on him. Uh, was he 6'8", uh, 374. Yeah. 375. I don't know that there's a bigger player I, in the NFL. I, I'm not going to give you my – we're not going to talk grades specifically, but this elevated – my thought process is what the Browns was doing because for once they actually did what most conventional GMs think about. They're like, man, this guy, let's look at his, let's look at his ability. He's a guy who's, who's a basketball player, former basketball player, right? And he's not a like soft basketball player, or he's just out there to take space. No, the guy has feet work. The guy has a skill set, and on top of it, they would have never taken a guy like this in the past. They would have never, never thought about drafting a guy like this. Um, to me, he reminds me a lot of Orlando Brown Jr. And Orlando Brown Jr., a lot of people don't look at really, the mismatch. Look there. at just get up out of just, just. <laughs> it looks like Andy Reid in the punt pass. I mean, it's Toledo. I mean, that was Toledo. It was Toledo, but, but I mean, that might have been Mr. Irrelevant that he was blocking yeah, there. I don't know. You, yeah, he, uh, he, he, look, he, he dwarfs all people. He, do, he's like he, he blots out the sky. <laughs> like he remember it was 300 <laughs> Cersei's was so like Dewan Jones eclipse. <laughs> My arrows will blot out the sky. He's, this, just fast. He he's a beast. He didn't allow a single sack. Did he last he year? He wasn't even allowing pressures. It's incredible uh, to me. I look at it like this. If you can get somebody with, with that, that, that ball of clay that he is and you can say, okay, let me go ahead and work with Bill Callahan for a year. That's what excites yep. me. Let me go ahead and get you. Yeah, money that's what excites me. We gonna put we we might even put a red shirt on him. When he get into the minutiae, start working that technique, start understand. Man, I'm gonna tell you what, this dude got the ability to play right tackle and left tackle, in my opinion, and he may take three or four leaps because of his just natural ability. You can't teach long arms like that. He'll lock out on you from here. And because who's teaching him? Yeah. Like, he's got the guru. He's got yeah. the best ever to do it. And he makes Orlando Pace look small. <laughs> I, I never thought I, that was a thing. I never but thought that does. was a thing. But he does. I mean, it's. I, I think of all of the picks, uh, it's interesting because the Browns had to make a decision by today, and they've made the decision. They're going to pick up the option on Jed Wills. So he's going to be here making $14 million dollars this year and next year, but because you have versatility with Jones, you could put him at right tackle yep. for a couple of years. And if Jill's, uh, if Jill's, if, if Jed <laughs> wills, it doesn't develop into the number 10 overall pick that we thought he would by then you've got two years under your belt with Jones at right tackle. Maybe he becomes your long-term answer at left tackle. Is that what the Browns are thinking here, Jace? I mean, I saw this as the Jack Conklin replacement. I think I think Jed Wills is going to be in Cleveland for a really long time. You do? Yeah, I do. I And, you know, people – and I even said it last year, sort of Duke a knee-jerk. I, I fell into G's camp of, well, you know, is Wills out of here next year? And people who know offensive line play a lot more than me say his good plays are, are good, his bad plays are awful, and they're more recognizable. And I'm talking about Jed. Obviously, sure. we, we've all seen his bad. Well, Joe Thomas said the same thing. Yeah. Well, there's one guy who knows a lot more <laughs> yeah. about offensive line And play. he also said, where are you going to go and find a replacement? That's, and you know, and that's, that's why Jack Conklin's back. We thought Jack was going to retire. I really did. And then he signed up to a four-year extension. Yeah, that was – But I'm still, I'm still trying, to, trying to wrap my head around. But well, he won't see the end of that. He won't. Realize. And that's the supply and demand of the position. And that's why if they're re-signing Conklin – Jed Wills ain't going anywhere just because of the of how much it costs to to get these guys and yeah. how difficult it is. It but, was a savvy move though because uh, one of the things that we had to keep in mind is that if he did get to uh, a year, if the Browns hadn't picked it up, and let's say he takes that leap that they're waiting for him yeah. to take, if he takes that leap, then you got to franchise him, and I think the franchise ballpark number is around twenty million. Mike said they had twenty three million. Twenty three million. Twenty three million. Exactly. So you say you know yeah. You're betting that he's going to continue to develop, and right. why not with your offensive line coach right. and Bill Callahan? So if he continues to develop, maybe he is here a long time. I don't know why they waited till deadline day. To, I don't know, but it was never a question. They were always going well, to it pick was, it up. It was reported weeks ago that they were going it to It was this. always going to happen. Yeah. Why they waited till Man, I don't know. I, you, you had your bet. Like, like look, I t look I'm, I'm all for the money. I'm all for spending all of it. Like, uh, you, it's a smart move. Like, okay, if I'm going to give you 14, it's just 14. 
you know, for a top 10 pick or whatever. Now, here's the here's the great part about why I love bringing Jones in. Because now, I'm going to be, it's, it's something to be said for turning around and seeing a man of that size in your room. Yeah. Right, up, right behind you, like, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm trying to get it. Like, all that, like, see, Jed Wills, I wouldn't even say, I wouldn't even say it's his bad plays. That his bad plays was a lack of consistency and a lack of motor and a lack of, of hustle and wanting to go get it. You don't stop. Like, that's the cardinal sin. Like, like here's, I'm going to say this. He wasn't doing that when Nick Saban was doing it. Nick Saban don't play that. All right. that stopping in the middle of the play and I, you just let a guy to lose because you didn't know what to do. No, he would have done that once or twice and, under, he, under no, that regime uh-uh. and he would have been on the he, bench. He'd been, on his, he'd been sitting beside me. Now, here's the great thing about it. Now, you got a dude that's coming in like that and you know he played for a top-notch organization, a top-notch uh, a school and you got Bill Callahan as a guy that's teaching him. He better come out here and do his thing. He better come out and do his thing because yeah. guess what? He's sitting right behind him like, hey, I, hey you, Conklin. Go ahead and get hurt. You know you be hurt half the time. Conklin, go ahead. Jed Wills, that you better get your ankles wrapped. <laughs> <laughs> double wrap. Double wrap them ankles, bro. Cause now we got some we got some competition in here. I like the pick. Um I mentioned that there's no linebacker that was drafted or <laughs> uh still no backer. I, I'm gonna go back to that. Um so I'm looking at the list of linebackers that the Browns have coming back next year. And it's thin, guys. They need one more. They need one more. I, what I think they lack that they don't have. I saw Devin White wants to be traded. Yeah, Devin White, the Buccaneers linebacker. Yeah, yeah, that was a while ago. He's gonna make twenty million. There's the, the Browns essentially have no chance of fitting that's into their salary. Well, cap. he's going to, but not not this coming year, right? Well, it's his fifth year option. He's the fifth overall pick, so is he making? So let me. Let good me, money. Do, do you know? I, do you, do we you talked know about it when it happened. You did. I'll find his exact salary for the upcoming year. I was, I was hoping that the Browns would do something and go out and get a player of his ilk. Is Reggie Ragland still of this squad? $12 million this year, by the way. Yeah, okay. That's, well, it's better than $20 million. Uh, I know. Oh, wait, real quick. Gee, real quick before we move on. Um, no, Ragland's not on the roster, right? Ragland's on the roster. But is, in terms of the Jed Wills discussion, Jason alluded to him being here long-term at left tackle. Do you two... G and J, do you guys think Jed Wills is the long-term tackle, or is Dewan Jones a guy who you think eventually moves into that spot if he develops as uh, he I, can? I'm not. Listen, just based on just based on watching it, right? I'm not a big Jed Wills like fan. Like I'm not a fan of his his the way Jed Wills has to play. He don't know it yet. Jed Wills feel like he can play at a certain level and speed because. He's just that talented and he get that off. That's not true. He's not like the, the, like the Orlando Paces of the world, the Jonathan Ogdens of the world, uh, 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 you know, those guys, the Anthony Munoz, those dudes are physic. Joe Thomas, those dudes are physically gifted. They have very low, they have long arms, very low body They're weight. They're also very tactful. Great. They, they, had, they were tacticians. They were tacticians. He's not a tactician. Well, you also mentioned some Hall of Famers there. Hey, he, I did. <laughs> Now, he's not, yeah, we're not going to confuse him. We're, we're as, not, as a Hall of he's not. A, he's not. A te- if he would just play hard every snap, he could be a fine pro. Joe. Yeah. Joe said fine. something that was interesting. Joe said, "When when he realizes that he's lost his man or that he's that he's not sure what to do, he stops. He just stands around. Yeah, and and jo- I think yeah. Joe said, just go hit somebody. Right. You can't, you right. Can't do that. Don't ever be caught on film going like this. Right. Where'd he go? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, too many times. Do something. Yeah, and and I I kind of think that to your point, Jay, these guys don't fall out of trees. Thank God they'd cause earthquakes. <laughs> they don't fall out of trees. They're not easy to find. It's probably the second or third most most important position in the sport. Yeah, you're Deshaun Watson's bodyguard, and you have got to make sure that you're not letting guys get free releases on you. And it happened too many times against with with Jed. I do think that I always go back to Callahan. I just think that the talent is there. He relied on that pure size Mm -hmm. and knowing that eight out of every 10 plays that he played at Alabama, he was going to win based on that. This isn't Alabama anymore. If it is, you're playing Georgia every week. Mm -hmm. And the worst defensive end 
in the NFL is up to up to beating you if you if you take a nap on a play. So I think that if Callahan can light a fire under him and get him going, maybe he can live up to that number 10 overall pick. But right now, long term, like when you think past two years, if he continues to look just like he has his previous three, I don't I don't think he's the long term answer. But again, who is who, uh, who is and maybe maybe you'll know that you've got two years now to reevaluate him. You've evaluated him based on three and you've decided he's earned two more. These next two are prove it years because if he doesn't show improvement and he just continues to be a guy there, I don't know that the Browns are comfortable saying we're okay with him being our third most important player in our franchise. I don't know that they're okay with that. I just, he just has to finish, but he just, you know, he has, hopefully that turns on a lot of people, a lot of people, Maybe his ceiling is average. Maybe his Maybe ceiling it is. is above average. And Who be, knows? Because where he was drafted in the 10th slot, we have certain we expectations. Have certain, but May, Maybe we have to come to the realization that he's not that guy. Mm-hmm. He's never going to be that guy. And if he's not, maybe you move him to right tackle. And, you know, if, if DeWan develops and shows the ability to play left tackle, maybe you just put, Wells at, uh, uh, put Wills at right tackle and put Jones over at left tackle. You got call some it a day. Op- but I, I do think now. you've got two nice bookends yeah. that uh, every team wants to have. And, and I can't wait to see what Jones develops into under Bill Callahan's tutelage. 